I think the path to progress encompasses a number of things with relation to trying to lower property taxes, stabilize taxes, uh, particularly as it attacks shared services. Uh, it addresses, uh, you know, the health and medical benefits. I think the Senator Sweeney has mentioned many times that I've seen him and we've had many discussions about it, where I think the, you know, the platinum plan that uh, most employees are under uh, in the state of New Jersey, they have to realize that it's just a very, very big expense and it's getting more expensive each and every year as it goes by. So I think to bring that down to a gold level will save hundreds of millions of dollars. And uh, I think uh, that's one of the reasons why I support it. Uh, the other reason is uh, I'm a very big proponent of shared services. For example, with a, with a town, uh, uh, Fairfield and Caldwell, uh, we share many services in North Caldwell. We, we have a health officer that provides health services to both North Caldwell and Fairfield. We have a shared uh, joint police dispatch with the borough of Caldwell to the east. I also believe in the initiative that the center has and Path to Progress talks about uh, regionalization of um, school districts. I think there's way too many school districts and we have 600 school districts and only 565 towns. So what's wrong with that picture? If we could get a substantial lowering of property taxes, we can certainly give that right back to the taxpayer in a form of uh, savings off their property tax bill or it would be cost avoidance in us having to raise taxes to do a lot of work that's necessary to maintain, for example, your infrastructure, water pipes, roads. It's either both savings to cost to the taxpayers uh, or cost avoidance. Either way, they're, they're, either of those are, are a very good um, uh, outcome.